Solund Solar is a manufacturer of solar cells. The base material for this solar cell is a multi-crystalline silicone wafer. This film provides an overview of the process steps from wafer to solar cell. The Solund process is a so-called semi-inline process where the production consists of three clusters. The wafers arrive in boxes of 100 pieces and are placed in the unstacker. This unstacker separates the very thin and sensitive wafers and places them on the five-row track of the first process cluster. The first step is a wet chemical etching step. This step cleans the wafer and removes sawing marks that result from the wafer production. Furthermore, a special texture is created on the wafer in order to reduce the reflection of sunlight. The next step is the phosphor deposition, where phosphor is sprayed on the wafer as part of the diffusion process. After the phosphor spray on, the wafer is transported through the diffusion furnace, where the phosphor is diffused into the wafer. During this diffusion, a p-n junction is created in the wafer. This p-n junction separates the electron hole pairs that are generated by the incoming sunlight and is responsible for the voltage between the two sides of the cell. Cluster 2 contains the second wet chemical etching step where the phosphorus glass is removed to prepare the wafer for the next step, the PECVD process that applies the anti-reflection coating to the wafer. This PECVD process takes place under vacuum where a plasma is applied to create a very thin layer of silicon nitrate. The result is an anti-reflection layer that reduces the reflection of sunlight, especially in the absorption peak of solar cells. This means the red part of the light spectrum. The layer performs less in the blue part of the spectrum, which is why the blue light is reflected and makes the cell look blue. At the end of cluster 2, we have a solar cell that can convert sunlight into electricity. However, the cell cannot release its electricity and so the process steps in the last cluster are needed, the printing section. In the printing section, first of all the front grid and the so-called buspers are printed with silver paste. On the rear side, two buspers are printed as well. These silver prints are necessary to connect the cells to each other via a soldering process later in the module. Then, the rear side is printed with aluminium. The aluminium acts as a conductor and is necessary both for the internal function of the solar cell and the internal reflection of sunlight. The prints are dried and burned into the cell in order to maximize the adhesion of the printed metal lines to the cell. The second last step is the laser isolation along the edge of the front side of the cell. This is to make sure that the front and back of the cell are electrically separated. The final step is the testing of the solar cell with help of an artificial sun and the sorting on power output in the right bin.